This is Kevin Shutterbuck here with another One Way Street Report. I'm here in Park, Colorado at the Kinologist's house. So, Pastor Carl. Hey, how you doing it? there, Kevin? Pretty good. It's nice to meet you finally. I've been following your reports on kinology 2 gorg They've been a lot of fun. What is it like to be the kinologist? Well, it's a lot of fun because I never have to really grow up because I get to stay a kid, as you can tell from my little Star Wars museum that I have here in the basement. I don't have it totally all set up yet, but I just because I just moved to Colorado. But I got my toys here, and I've got lots of puppets and all kinds of stuff that I use for ministering to kids, which you should know all about because you're a kid ministry toy. So I'm going to interview you. Usually you're doing the interviewing, but now we're doing it backwards because you're here here at the Kidology headquarters, and I want to find out from you what's it been like traveling with the Martins on the road in the RV. Uh, what's been your most exciting stop? Well, there was that time when I was shut in the cookie jar. You got shut in the cookie jar? They thought it was my sack, but it wasn't. So uh, what'd you do? Eat the cookies while you were in there? Maybe. <laughs> what was the worst thing that happened uh, on your journey? I one time did get stuck in the dog kennel for a little while. In the dog kennel? With that scary little dog? Scary chihuahua. <laughs> but you haven't got dropped in the snake container, I hope. No, that's way too scary. Because they got a little uh, boa constrictor. Is it a boa constrictor? No, it's actually a ball python. Oh, well, like that's any better. But you haven't got dropped in with a snake? No. Because that would be kind of scary. Yes. So you're traveling with five boys. That's mm -hmm. six county you. How well do the Martin boys get along? They get along okay. Some days are better than others. Just like your average family, really. So are they, are they ever trying to kill each other? Sometimes. <laughs> But most days, uh, you say most days they get along? Yes. That's cool. So um, that's, so. what would you say is their favorite uh, place that they've been to? I don't know. I think maybe the Grand Canyon was a big one for them. And they also, when we saw some of the National Park Service, does some pretty jun junior ranger programs that the l younger kids like a lot. That's cool. Now, Blake, you probably know the best. What would you say would be Blake's favorite? Well, I'm not quite sure. Maybe that place in Texas where all the armadillos were. Oh, yeah, I heard that he caught an armadillo. Not actually caught it, but he did get one really close. He kind of cornered it in a hole, right? Yeah. He should have caught it and ate it. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That would have been tasty. So how do you think his mom and dad are uh, holding up uh, here driving in the RV and keeping track of five boys and a puppet and a snake and a dog? I'm pretty sure since they've been doing it for a while, it's pretty easy for them. Piece of cake? Piece of cake. So, uh, now how do they do their laundry and everything? Do they just wear the same thing every day? No, actually, they do laundry in the bathtub or in a washing thing. My, um, Pat, Miss Patsy got a book how, about how to wash clothes in a 10-gallon barrel. Oh, cool. Now, what about you? Do you get washed ever? Not very often. I did get stuck in the laundry machine once. <laughs> I was dizzy for weeks. Yeah, I bet you were. So, um, let's see, anything else that you're wondering about? Well, I'd also like to know where you get your hair done. Uh, my wife does my hair. Is it that obvious? <laughs> How do you get your hair done? And, uh, and on the RV, does, does Patsy do all the boys' haircuts? There's a little do on my hair. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, do, 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 uh, do the Martins, uh, do they get their hair cut by, by, by mom? Yes, they do. All right, cool. Did she do your hair? She did. Or is yours a one, one time uh, for life hairdo because you're a puppet? <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> what about the dog? Who does the dog's hair? The dog does his own hair. <laughs> Just licks it, right? Yeah. Snake yeah. did the dog's hair the once. The snake did the dog's hair. So it sounds like this interview is going downhill. Anything else? No, not much else. That's it? Well, it's been great having you guys visit. We, uh, we had fun hanging out yesterday, and uh, we're excited to keep following your interviews and uh, seeing the different places you go and the things we learn about. So keep up the good work, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing what new little bits of insight you bring us from the road. And it's nice to see you in person. Thank you. Take it easy. This is Kevin Schroederbuck here, signing off.